Hi everyone, I'm Tata Desite. Welcome back to EB Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can fetch or how we can set and delete the variable value at different variable scope in Postman. So in the previous video, we learned about different variable scopes, which is this one. So by now, you should know all the different variable scopes in Postman. So now we will learn how we can set, get, and how we can delete values at these variable scopes. So this is my Postman API collection. I'm using the same API which we used in the previous video. This is a user's API. And in order to set any value at the environment level, what you have to do, you have to use the different methods. So in order to set any value at the environment scope, what you have to do, you have to use pm.environment. And in order to set the value, the value you have to use dot set. Okay. And similarly, in order to set it at the global scope, you have to use pm.globals. If you want to set it at the collection level, you have to use pm. And in case if you have to set it at the local scope, you have to use pm.variables. So this is a syntax for setting the value at the different variable scope. So if I show you over here, for example, these are the variables at the environment level and these are at the global. Now let's run this API and now over here we will see, you see the base URL is set at the environment scope. And similarly for the global also, we can see this is set at the global scope. So now in order to fetch the value, you have to use the method dot get. So this method will remain same, which is PM dot environment. In order to fetch the value from environment scope, you have to use PM dot environment. And for global, you have to use PM dot globals. For collection variable, you have to use PM dot collection variable and from the local scope you have to use PM dot variable. Now let's see if this is working fine or not. So what I'll do, I'll just comment this one. And now let's run for environment and global. Let me just comment this one as well. So what we can do, we can just print this value. So in order to print, we will use console.log and we can print it inside this console.log. Okay. Now let's save it and now if we run this API, we can go to the console and verify the result. So if you see over here, this is our pm.environment, which is this base URL. And the second one is the admin email, which is this one. And if we see over here, the base URL is the same. And then the admin email is also same. So this is how you can fetch and set the value at different scope. Now the next thing is if you want to delete these values. So how we can do that? So in order to do that, we have to use the method, which is dot unset. So what I will do, I'll just copy this. We'll just change it to unset. So unset will basically delete this variable from that scope. So let's just save it. For now, we know we already have this value at the environment level, which is a base URL. And after using this one, it will be deleted. So now let's run the API again. And now if I go to the environment, we can see base URL is deleted from here. So this is how you can delete the value at different variable scope. So yeah, this is a short video just to tell you how we can fetch, get, and how we can delete the value from the different variable scope. So I've also created this Postman variable cheat sheet. If you are preparing for an interview or if you just want a sheet to refer, you can easily refer to this cheat sheet. So over here, we can see different variable scopes, which we have already covered. What are different variable scope? Global variable, collection variable, environment variable, data variable, and the local variable. You can see a one-liner definition for all this and next one is the priority so we have already covered in the previous video but this is just a cheat sheet for your reference if you want to refer it i will share the link and i will share the pdf in the comment section you can download it and here we can also see if you want to get the variable value how we can get it we have to use the method dot get and in order to set the value we have to use the method dot set and in order to delete it we have to use the method dot unset so these are also asked in interview questions so you can refer to them and you can prepare for an interview so that's all for the video it was a quick video just to tell you the different variable scopes how we can set that what are the different priorities and how we can delete them. if you like the content please make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching